Hello everyone, this is Multi Super LMAO, and today I'm bringing you another Tekken tutorial. Now what we'll be talking about today is the RedNet API, which is part of the ComputerCraft mod. So what this is, is it basically allows for communication between computers. So you can send a message from one to another. And so you could create a whole system, I don't know, you could make like an, an email system or whatever. So what you're going to need is two computers which are made like this, just stone, glass pane and redstone, this is kind of glitched for some reason. Uh, so we'll grab two of those. And you're also going to need two wireless modems which are stone and redstone torch in the middle. Grab two of those as well. Just going to place these computers down. And you're going to have to put the wireless modem anywhere on whatever side you want. So I'm just going to place them on top, just hold shift and right click like that. So we're going to create a program that sends a message from this computer to this computer. So first thing we're going to need to do is make a new program called send, just type in edit send. And first thing is rednet.open. You always going to do this when you do anything with the rednet. You type in uh, open records, uh, quotation marks top or whatever side you put it on, if you put it on the right side you're going to, put it, you're going to type in right. Um, so now we type in rednet.send and we're going to send a message to a specific computer and now we have to know what computer we want to send it to, in this case that's this one. But we don't know how we can identify this computer. Well I'll tell you, you're going to type in id press enter and it'll say this is computer 13 I'll do this with every computer so now we know the ID number of this computer I'm gonna type this in so we're gonna type in rednet.send open brackets type in 13 so it's gonna send a message to computer 13 and then we're just gonna type in the message we want in quotation marks of course oops it's gonna say hello and then we're just gonna make it reboot just simply like that save and exit and now you'll you'll see if you type in send nothing will actually happen this won't do anything this is because we need to make make a program that will receive the message so we'll type in edit receive and again rednet.open top just like that and now what we're going to do is we're going to put the message that it receives into a variable. And how we're going to do this is we're going to type in id, comma, uh, message equals rednet.receive. Note the spelling there. Uh, and these brackets. No, don't know if they're necessary, but whatever. So now what it's going to do is it's going to put whatever it receives into the variable called message. This id thing is just there for uh, since in the other command we also needed to type in id. But you don't need to worry about that, just always type in id here. So now we're going to make it print the thing on the screen. So we're going to make it print message. And now what it should do is it should show the thing on the screen, but we're just gonna do a little sleep for five seconds and then just reboot as well. Save and exit and type in receive. You have to type in receive first, I think. So now you can see this is red, it means it's on, it's waiting for a thing for, for, for any message to be sent to him. So now we're gonna run the send program. There we go, it's send it now. And it, as you can see, it says hello. And after five seconds, it goes away and it reboots. So yeah, that's basically how you do this. You can create a lot more advanced machines with this. Um, for example, I made a uh, password protected door. So yeah, that's it basically. And uh, yeah, have a nice day everyone. Bye.